Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a Mickey Mouse telephone and these are very sought after telephones. It's an original and a lot of times I'll tell the customer that they don't have to send the body so that the package can be smaller. And so this is Ray's telephone from Ohio and it, this is the initial checkout. Now in the background you're going to see some other equipment that I'm working on um, uh, converting some TA-1 handheld military field telephones into real telephones. and. So while I'm letting some things uh, dry on uh, that project, I'm going to go ahead and start on uh, Ray's telephone here. And so since this is the initial checkout, basically, first of all, one of Ray's problems is, is he's going to have to have his handset cord repaired. And uh, so that's an issue. So we're going to move that out of the way. I have another cord on it uh, just for test purposes. And Ray's got a note here. And so basically he's talking about the numbers on the keypad not working proper. And I've done some checking on this telephone since this is the initial checkout. And he's got two issues here. I'm going to go ahead and pick the telephone up and show you the network. He's got a hook switch here, his bell, and his keypad. And he's, he's got two issues here other than the cord issue. Um, number one, he doesn't have a, a, a bridge rectifier. And so uh, he will not always have proper polarity wherever he plugs his telephone in. So that's one issue that we have to square away. The second issue is his keypad is bad. Now, whether that keypad can be repaired or not, uh, we'll have to look into that, might have to replace it because on these manual keypads what happens is they have two tunable coils in them and they're very touchy. Uh, sometimes you can tune them back into uh, working condition and other times you can't. So it all depends. We'll have to go through it as I'm troubleshooting it. First we want to get a bridge rectifier in it and repair his handset cord and then we want to start working on the keypad issue. And I'm going to show you a little bit about what I mean about the keypad issue. Uh, first of all, we have it plugged in and it just seized the analyzer. I'm going to hang up. You're going to see a red light come on on the analyzer and I'm going to give you some dial tone. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and dial our numbers if you watch the analyzer. As you can see, it's not breaking dial tone. Okay. And I'm going to give you some dial tone while I do that. So we know it's not dialing out. Now, I have a switch box over here that will give me a regular line out. And I purposely have the uh, polarity reversed on that. I want to give you some dial tone. So the analyzer is no longer in the situation. I have dial tone here, but I want you to listen to the dial tone when I try to dial a number. See, the first three keys sound fine, but if I dial a time and temp number and it involves the five, hear that five? Well, the 5 doesn't work right. I'm going to give you some dial tone. We'll do the 5. And you'll hear the funny sound coming from the 5 and the 6 once in a while. It's improper. So it's not creating the frequency. I want to go back to the analyzer and I'll hold the hook switch. The keypad is not creating the proper tone frequency to pass at the phone company. 
and so he has a keypad issue also. We're going to go ahead and take a short break from the video and uh, we're going to start working on this telephone, repairing the handset cord, getting a bridge rectifier in it, and then we're going to go into the keypad and see what we can do about that and then see if we need to replace it or whatever. And um, we'll try to get some video of this telephone as we move along in the progress of uh, repair and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are in the middle of the process of repairing Ray's telephone here. And so basically what we did was I went into the keypad that came with his telephone and these tunable coils here are basically no good and we're not going to be able to tune them out. You would have to take a keypad and uh, take the coils off of a good keypad and replace them and there would be more work in that than it's worth. So basically uh, if we had a keypad that was destroyed up top or something we could uh, utilize the coils off of one of them or something but so what we went ahead and did was replace his keypad and so we have another keypad installed on Ray's telephone here and so another issue that we took care of was uh, Ray's handset cord so that's been cleaned repaired and that's been taken care of we also had the issue of a bridge rectifier and I don't do this very often I build my own rectifiers and have for years and uh, so I prefer to build my own but just for Ray I went ahead and installed a factory original bridge rectifier for a Mickey Mouse telephone and all those years you heard those stories about Santa Claus and you weren't sure he was real well Ray Santa Claus really is real and he does exist so now let's go ahead and check this telephone out as you can see it sees the analyzer you see that red light on the analyzer there I want to turn the light off so you can see it and I want to give you some dial tone I want to go ahead and hang up when I release the hook switch you see that it sees the analyzer again there's your dial tone if you remember earlier we were not recognizing the analyzer was not recognizing the old keypad or the network without a bridge rectifier because the polarity was improper and I'm going to try to slide this keypad into place here I just want to because we're not ready to t put the phone back together again we're just doing some checks here and I want to dial my numbers if you watch I'm going to end in a 2 I want to transmit into the handset so if you watch that red light on the analyzer every time I transmit that's an indication of a hundred percent modulation on transmit every time you see that red LED so we know that the telephone is dialing out it receives it transmits and now what we can do is check for a ring I'll let that go one more time give you some dial tone we'll dial our numbers I'm going to end in a 2 and we're going to go ahead and hang up give you some dial tone we'll unplug the line what I want to do now is uh, take a short break from the video and I want to go ahead and put everything back together again and we'll do our final checks so we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished up with Mickey and so now what we want to do is I want to go ahead and plug the telephone in 
You can see that red light, so it has seized the line. I want to hang up, give you some dial tone. I want to go ahead and dial our numbers since that was one of the issues. I want to end in a 2, and you can see that the analyzer has ended in a 2. I want to go ahead and transmit into the handset. Like earlier, anytime you see that red light when I'm transmitting, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. So we know that the telephone is dialing out. It has receive and transmit. Let's try the dialing out again. I'll walk through the numbers one more time. And it ended in a 2. So now what I want to do is I want to ring the telephone. I'll let that go several times. I'll let it go one more time. Give you a dial tone. Now what I want to do is move the telephone over to a regular line and I have a switch box here so all I have to do is push this button. The analyzer is no longer involved in the situation and I'll go over to a regular line. We'll give you some dial tone. I want to dial a time and temp. Good evening. Offenburg St. Clair Auto Mall with five new car lines at one location in O'Fallon. Offenburg.com. Today is Friday, March 22nd. The time is 623. Current temperature 48 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Cloudy tonight, lows in the mid-30s, mostly cloudy Saturday, 30% chance of rain, highs in the low 50s. Okay, we can dial one other number. We'll call, like, say, Walmart. Thank you for calling Walmart. Baby, Walmart. How you doing? I'm fine, are you? Uh, I'm pretty good. Is it snowing over there? Okay, well, I'll be right down then. Okay. Thank you. Well, we know it called Walmart. Let's give you some dial tone. I'll call my number and it'll be busy. I'll call one other number. I'll call time and temp again. Give you some dial tone. Good evening. Offenburg St. Clair Auto Mall with five new car lines at one location in O'Fallon. Offenburg.com. Today is Friday, March 22nd. The time is 6.25. Current temperature at 48 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Cloudy tonight, lows in the mid-30s. Mostly cloudy Saturday, 30% chance of rain. Highs in the low 50s. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go back over to the analyzer. It sees the line. Give you some dial tone. We'll go through our numbers one more time since that was an issue. And I'll end in a two. I want to hang up, disconnect the telephone from the analyzer. And so now, basically, we have installed another keypad, our bridge rectifier, which is an original Mickey Mouse telephone bridge rectifier from that network. And everything has been repaired and the handset cord has been cleaned and repaired. So now we can get this telephone back to Ray 
and he can start enjoying it. And so actually I believe this telephone belongs to his wife. But uh, anyway, they can start enjoying it and uh, now uh, Mickey's all happy again. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.